Hello everyone, this is Mateo with Arcade.dev. In the first video in this series, we explored human in the loop for three different frameworks. Google ADK, the OpenAI Agents SDK, and Langgraph slash Langchain. In this video, I will explore a different aspect of building agents, or specifically multi-agent systems. Um, in this case, I'll be exploring the idea of agentic delegation, or also known as handoffs. So first, let me define what I mean by handoffs. In multi-agent systems, there are multiple ways in which agents can communicate with each other to achieve a task. One of these ways is agentic delegation. That's the idea of one agent delegating a task to a more specialized agent or to a more appropriate agent. There are other mechanisms that we can explore in different videos, but today we are only talking about agentic delegation. I built the same multi-agent system using these three frameworks, so I can compare how they approach different aspects. So let's see how they approach agent delegation. I'm now in the terminal in the directory where I have the three implementations of the same agent. In case you don't remember, um, this agent involves three different agents, uh, the supervisor or the conversational agent, which will get all of the input from the user, and then two agents with access to tools, um, one Google agent and one Slack agent. And I've used Arcade to give these agents access to tools. So let's start by Google ADK. Right, I will activate the environment and I run the agent. I'm going to use the same prompt for the three agents, and that's going to be summarize my latest three emails. And the idea is that I want to force a handoff, right? I know that there is one agent with access to emails, so uh, the LLM must hand off to that one. So there you go. As in my last video, we are using agent ops as the observability layer, and you will see how useful it is to understand what the agent is actually doing behind the scenes. So we start with the conversation agent, which is um, why I, what I expected is the one that receives all of the prompts. And this is already interesting, right? We see transfer to agent. And this is usually a tool, right? So we have a function call that says transfer to the Google agent. This is transparent to us, but it already gives us a hint of how this is implemented. And in my opinion, using a function call to do the handoff explicitly is the right way to go. So I'm happy with the way Google EDK is doing it. And here we see the execution, the actual tool call, and then the handoff to the agent, the result of the call, and then what is printed to the user, right? So this is really nice. Um, I'm happy with what I'm seeing, and we will see this pattern appear uh, more often than you think. Let's go to the next agent. Let's go to um, the other agents. I'm going to use Langgraph. I'm going to activate this environment now and call the agent. Here we go, the same result. Let's inspect the trace. Right, so what we see here is a similar thing. We have a call to transfer to Google Agent, which is consistent with what we've seen in the terminal. Um, we see our system prompt, which is for the conversational agent, and then our prompt, and immediately the handoff uh, tool call, right? Then we see the Google list emails call, right? So this is the system agent for the Google agent. Summarize my last three emails, transfer. So this, this is just the message that we see. And these are the arguments of the actual um, list emails uh, tool call, right? And then uh, it will just reply with the JSON version and a summary 
that we actually uh, bring to the user. So again, this is implemented as uh, function calling uh, behind the scenes. So we have a transfer to agent uh, tool, which is excellent. Again, um, I'm happy that the frameworks are aligning in this case. And I will talk about um, the more general pattern later on. So let's inspect the third and last agent. So we are in the OpenAI project. Uh, let's run the agent. That's done. Let's see the trace. Again, uh, we have the same. And of course, the way they do it internally will vary a little bit, but we can see that all of these are essentially the same. It's going to be a function call or a true call, and it's going to be some sort of specific transfer to agent uh, function, right? So in the case of uh, LangGraph and the OpenAI agent SDK is explicitly a function created for this transfer. And in the case of the Google ADK, it was a transfer to agent and with a parameter about which agent it is. Right, so let's wrap this up and let's see if we can analyze the code of all of these agents. Right, so I'm going to open. Let's start in reverse. This is going to be first the OpenAI SDK. I'm going to be opening the hello, and here is where we define the agent, and we can see what is the handoffs going on. Right, so handoffs, right? So let's see, agent. And it's pretty cool that all of this is open source so we can just inspect it, right? So we'll see, handoff descriptions. So this is interesting, right? Um, one of the patterns that is actually implemented behind the scenes, even if we don't explicitly do it, is in, in the OpenAI agents SDK, you have an as tools uh, function that will transform this agent into a tool that other agents can call, right? It says here that this is different from handoffs in two ways. In handoffs, the new agent receives the conversation history. In this tool, the new agent receives gener generated input, right? So that's one difference. And the other one is in handoffs, the new agent takes over the conversation. And in the tool version, the new agent is called as a tool and the conversation is continued by the original agent, right? Um, I think this is an interesting uh, proposition. I would like this to be a little bit more transparent. Um, I think it's nice that they have these two convenient ways to interact in different ways with the agent. But in general, I would prefer, because I am using this as an orchestration tool, I would prefer to decide what to do um, with the context. Maybe I want the conversation to be sent to the agent. Maybe I want the conversation to be taken over by the agent uh, as a tool. Uh, or just as a regular uh, handoff, right? So I can see many different uh, architectures where I may need one or the other for the same agent. Uh, so I would like that flexibility um, in a more dynamic way, right? But this is well implemented. I like that function calling is what's happening behind the scenes. That's for the OpenAI version. Let's go to the graph. go all the way down. This is our supervisor. And let's see. So we can see that internally, the supervisor is actually a React agent. And each of the agents that uh, the supervisor is managing will have a specific function call, right? And this is nice. Um, I would love to see something similar to what the OpenAI agents SDK is doing. In, in terms of, okay, should this um, inner agent receive the entire conversation history or, or not, right? And I know they have this parameter, which is output mode. So if we go to the documentation, the output mode is what defines how the context is treated between the supervisor agent and the agent that will get the task. Um, I mean, this is fine. 
uh, for me because I know that if I were, I know I have the flexibility to build this myself and actually the fact that it's open source and I can see how it's implemented makes this very versatile in my opinion. Um, so I think it's fine that the create supervisor um, has these different output modes and we can see it, only the last message goes by default or I can make the full history. So this is also, it's again, uh, nice, um, but I can see that making a more complex architecture will be easier in LangGraph because I can construct a graph uh, with enough control to decide what actually gets sent to the agent. Of course, I will uh, have to sacrifice the convenience of create supervisor, but I know it's versatile enough to build these intricate differences out of the box. So in that sense, um, I still prefer LangGraph over OpenAI SDK for this specific implementation. Now let's see the Google one. Right, so the way Google does it is they have an explicit function, right, an explicit tool um, that is called transfer to agent. And they have this um, specific class called um, agent transfer. So this is what they call a LLM request processor. And what they do is essentially they get the transfer targets from the agent, right? So in this case, they will just um, have all of the sub-agents and each of those will be transformed into a function, right? So they will cast that uh, function as a tool uh, and they will put that specific agent as the target, right? So it's elegant in my opinion. I don't see a way to control what context is sent to the agent specifically, or at least it's not easy for me to, to find that. So it's difficult for me to understand what's being actually sent uh, to the agent, because it seems here that the entire invocation context is, um, is sent to the agent, right? Uh, which is not necessarily great. I may want to have fine grain control of what context specifically gets sent to the agent. So in that sense, this is my least favorite uh, implementation. So uh, let's wrap it up. So in my opinion, um, again, uh, Langchain slash Langgraph uh, takes the lead here, very closely followed by OpenAI SDK. Um, both of them implement ways in which you can control what context is sent to the sub agent. I like that the Google ADK has an um, elegant way to transfer uh, to the agents, but it seems to me that they don't, they don't let you control exactly what is sent to the agent, um, and you may have to work around this limitation if you want to have a sub-agent that only gets minimal context. Um, so again, um, if you are thinking about fine-grained control for agentic delegation, I would choose uh, Langgraph. But depending on the architecture that you're dealing with, um, the OpenAI Agents SDK could be also a very good choice. The next videos in this series are tutorials for the Google ADK uh, implementation. We will go uh, deep into the code and also the LangGraph version. So until then, happy building.